Well, hello there, guys. Welcome back to the Russo-Iranian War. Uh, we've had a lot of great suggestions, somebody suggesting a pincer attack, and he actually has a good point. We've got 42 troops over here. We've got another group of troops over here. We could separate these guys and go ahead and form a pincer attack, um, more specifically grab these guys over here on the left, and basically just detach them. So I'm going to go ahead and... We want to select... We don't want to select all units, we just want to select these specific units. So let's go ahead, let's get this guy out of the army. Same with this guy right here, out of the army. I'm going to take all 15 here. I'm probably not even going to disband all of these guys. I just want to make enough to get a 24 stack army. There we go. It's a little bit better. So we've got Vasily Kuznetsov over here. We should be adding troops to Kuznetsov's force. And actually, Grigori Kulik. I forgot about Grigori Kulik. So we could try our counter, or I should say our... um our pincer movement with Kulik. So I'm going to take another offensive line and draw it over here. That's not much of a pincer movement, is it? Well, pincer on the right. We're just going to have to close that pincer eventually. Now, we're already pushing pretty hard on these mountains, and I feel like if we keep the work up, we're going to break right through, and that's exactly what we're doing. So hey, this is working out pretty well. We want to move the rest of our troops, those that have just been given to us by Xinjiang, over here, um, and just keep taking territory, really. Keep on going, boys. Let's go ahead and hit them over here as well. We're, do we're definitely doing some micromanaging for this Let's Play. Let's actually go ahead and hit them here. You cannot stand to our Soviet might. Alright, we'll do the same with this guy. Once again, we we've been mi micromanaging most of this assault. That's definitely true. Go ahead and try to break through here, and this way we'll totally cut off the army. At least the army trapped over here in this area. Let's go ahead and take a look at the west. Alright, same thing over here. So I've been trying to break through with these guys uh, behind the enemy lines. You guys saw that last turn. We're going to keep up the work. I'm also going to send some tanks this way, because we want to start pushing forward. So let's go ahead, we'll start counter-attacking along the line. These guys are already in serious battle. And it's good to see that these guys are already starting to get their resources. That's something that we have had trouble getting the, the entire game. Come on. Someone mentioned also we should have fewer tanks on this front because the Iranian troops actually have pretty good anti-tank defenses, which is a good point. Um, but it's a bit late to go ahead and restructure our entire army, isn't it? Come on, boys. Alright, come on, come on. Faster. Let's take a look over here. The center is still very strong. There we go, we're through. Uh, and I'm going to cut right over here. So we're going to try to basically smash the enemy from the flank. Got some more tanks over here. We might as well use them. And let's take a look at this. Awesome. Look at this. We're absolutely cutting the enemy off. Uh, we probably want to go ahead and redraw our front line. So let me select all. It's a very weird front line, but it is what it is. Come on, boys. Get to the front. And it looks like the French Commune is sending us two divisions. I was hoping for more than two, but we'll take it. We'll take anything we can get. I wish they would join our force, but we're going to have to wait a while for them to do that, apparently. And we're going to try to smash in on these guys, just like we're doing on the other front. Come on, boys. So far, it's a victory along the line, but it's going to take a while to win this war. This is not going to be a one-day war by any means. 
Go ahead and see if we can just crash through here and finish these guys off. Beautiful. Do not stop attacking me, no matter how many machine guns are firing. You will not be a coward if you join the Red Army. Let's actually grab these guys, and we're going to try to smash them right here. We can cut them off pretty significantly. 20 troops from Shinkang. Interesting, guys. I'm gonna see if this helps us at all. Okay, I definitely want to stay here um, in this position right here. Primarily because we can actually defend this point temporarily. So let's go ahead and let's just temporarily defend. We're still attacking on several fronts, like over here for instance, but they're definitely managing to push us back, so we've got to get some reinforcements in there. Come on, boys. We'll cr close in on this side, we'll close in on this side, so this will be a true pincer attack. These guys, I'll keep fight. I'll keep attacking with these guys as well. Why the hell not? Um, I would like some reinforcements though. So let's see if we can bring over any more troops. We've got plenty of troops over here in Europe and some in Asia, but I don't want to take them. All right, twelve divisions. Moronovsky, you are going to lead these twelve divisions, you fool. Actually, I like Moronovsky. We shouldn't be so rude. <laughs> we shouldn't be so rude to Moronovsky. <laughs> Um, I'm going to set them on one of the existing lines. So they'll be showing up pretty soon here. Well, not pretty soon. They've got a lot of travel to do, but... Eventually. There we go. Nice. That's what I like to see. Got to keep up the attack, and we've got to redraw these lines too, because these guys are suffering. They're going to suffer anyway from um, attrition, because we're in the desert, but we could definitely improve things. In the reinforcements. See, we're all out of fuel, as you can see here. We all have low supply. So this is a desperate fight on this front. Now, we've taken a lot of territory, um, but it's mostly just been mountainous desert. It's not exactly the most valuable territory in the world. Let's go ahead, cross over this way, cross over this way, and now cross over this way. Alright, they're in Leningrad. We can bring them forward pretty soon here, but for now, let's play it cool. Those British are providing some <coughs> exceptional defense. As you can see, they're actually pushing us back a little bit. I don't like that one bit. Attack back here! Alright, let's push on the British. You damn English dogs, you are fighting us! You are lying to the rest of the world! Still got that um, incoming infantry. They're on the way. And we've also got some Romanians that are apparently going to be sending some troops. That's definitely good news. We've just got to keep pushing as quickly as we can on this front, guys. I think that's going to be the key. Uh, getting to Tehran, which is, of course, the capital itself, would be amazing. We're going to try to hit them on the weaker side. I'm really trying to focus on their weaker points. This seems to work out a lot better. Then we flank them on the weaker points, and it makes it a lot easier to move through. Unfortunately, here, they're putting up a pretty good defense on Tehran. And somebody suggested, why don't you go ahead and just do a uh, amphibious assault or a transport assault? We don't have that ability right now. And it looks like they might be a, uh, soon be uh, taking back Yerevan, which I was really hoping wouldn't happen. 89. Holy crap. Select all. Let's go ahead and reform these guys. Oh yeah. Alright, so we're setting up a nicer little defensive line here. But we definitely have to keep counterattacking in the east. 
Keep it up, boys. Keep it up. Go for it. Go for it. Should be able to attack right away again. There's no reason we should be losing this uh, fight against two Iranian infantry divisions. Come on, come on. You're almost there, boys. It looks like the Chinese are asking request. So they want us to, um, they want to join us. Yeah, we'll accept them, of course. So Yerevan has been taken back. Now, we still have Tbilisi. So, we still got Tbilisi, Georgia. Um, but we need to take back Yerevan if we can. Come on. For the rest of these guys, I'm just going to keep them on the front and hold out while our guys in the east make the major pushes here. That's, that's going to be our goal. Our strategy, our goal, whatever you want to call it. Some volunteers here. Beautiful! Ten divisions from the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. And it's going to pop up right here. Um, that's where we're going to start building our next army. Yeah, our relations are decent. Wait a minute, are they part of no faction? That would make me laugh. Wow, they are part of no faction. Um, so we should be able to... Oh, that's right, this is because the French own them. Damn it! We're going to keep improving relations with these guys. But it really is going to take a miracle. We're going to have to have the Allies come support the Iranians if we want to, uh, to get a war, I think. That's at least what I'm expecting. Okay, we're going to go right in now. Full attack. Come on, you can do this, boys. You have trained for years. Longer than years, even. Right, some nice defending going on here. Let's take a look at the war score right now. So the war score is actually 99% in favor of us still, uh, which is pretty awesome. And it looks like the Libyan Socialist Republic. Wow. Uh, Libya has gone socialist too. That's amazing. So Libyan Socialist Republic was actually um, basically allowed to go. That's pretty cool. And I'm almost tempted to bring an end to this war. We've taken enough room, enough territory in the east. Uh, obviously, the uh, is this the Khorasan River? Can't be correct. The Euphrates? Is it the Euphrates? Um, I think this is the Euphrates. Am I right? Um, but anyway, we're going to keep attacking. Let's actually take this fellow here. And I'm hoping we can push towards dead on with a little more strength this time. If not, we're just going to have to keep attacking in other ways. Alright, let's go ahead push hard on this side. Okay, guys, well, I hope that we uh, keep pushing into Tehran. We're close to Tehran, of course, a lot closer than we were before. Bef before, we were all the way up here. Nonetheless, uh, Tehran is still a ways away, and over in this area, the enemies actually managed to push us back significantly. So, we've got to be a little careful here, obviously. Um, I'm going to grab some of these divisions. In fact, where's that 10 division? There we go. This 6 division is going to be useful. We're going to move him over here to uh, Leningrad, of course. Taking this guy out of Kulik's army. Oh damn it! He was in a. He was not one of our troops. It's all right. We're just gonna let these guys start stacking up over here by Leningrad, and then we'll build our third army. And that'll hopefully be the one to seal the deal. All right. A lot of troops f running from the front with with reason. This has been a tough campaign. Alright, let's try to attack. Everybody attack this area. Show no mercy against these theologian dogs. Oh wait, they're just monarchists right now. Just as bad, just as bad. Alright, we're gonna try to hit over here. Oh, 
All right, nice. So they're going to pull back from this region right here in Khorasan. Our men will be moving in there. And there's actually a nice little factory here. Nice. Get on the front, men. All right, so they're trying to take this back. I definitely don't want to lose it, so I'm going to be sending some reinforcements. And there we go. The Iranian counterattack is not going to succeed. Um, but we should still start keep pushing on other parts of the front, of course. See how it's going in the west. Flank attack here, especially on their current offensive. And we're going to be using Stefan uh, Semyon Bunyoni to launch this attack. Seems that our attacks start off really strong, but they lose steam, which is kind of annoying. Send this guy through, send this guy through to Yerevan. They really don't want to lose Yerevan at all. 159,000 dead on the Iranian side, and of course 591,000 dead on our side. We could have just waited and tried to get a coup, am I right? Um, offering peace wouldn't work. War has been raging for only five of the six months needed for surrendering. You are not a war leader on the losing side. War scores in favor of the winning side must be at 50%, currently 2%. So actually, we are only at 2%, even though it showed a ridiculous amount of uh, bonuses for our side. That's interesting. There are some more divisions we could use. Let's send them up here as well. It's just to make our third, or it's more than more like our seventh army. I bet these guys are really happy to be leaving the desert. <laughs> the deserts of Iran to come and deal uh, with just joining another army. That's probably pretty useful. Let's go for it. It's getting harder and harder to break through, of course. And of course, we'll accept the divisions over here from the Romanians. And we're going to send this next army over here to the Western Front. This this is a tough front. I mean, we're still not taking Tabriz. Yerevan, of course, back in enemy hands. We've really got to step up our game. But uh, it's not an easy war. Not by any means. I was under the impression this was going to be a walk in the park. It's not even close to being a walk in the park. Okay. Want all of these divisions without a home to head north. Now this, this is just a subdivision, so we don't have to worry about them. A lot of Romanians, a lot of um, Yugoslavians. They need to be able to know what they're doing. All right, here we go. Let's try to attack. Actually, we'll do an attack on multiple angles here. And we're just going to try to push the army, kind of sh mush them up uh, next to the river here by Tabriz, or the pond, the lake, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I think from there we can do pretty well. And look at this, we've taken another area, and now we're up here on a hill, a nice formation. Uh, and I think this is probably a decent area to hang out, and maybe even launch attacks downwards, maybe go all the way behind the enemy, go to the very southeastern part of Iran, although I don't expect there to be much there, but maybe we can cause a lot of panic, and that alone will be make it worth it, who knows. So anyway, guys, I hope you're enjoying this series so far. This Iran Iranian war is awesome. We're only like maybe... 30, 40 miles away from Tehran, but it's still a ways away, and we're not there until we're there. I'm amazed that the uh, the Allies have been sending so many troops to support the Iranians, British troops, Canadian troops, but they have not yet declared war on us. Now, if they do declare war, I have a good feeling that the French Commune would join us against them. Um, so that would kind of be interesting and might even work out in our favor. Um, so I think that's one of the reasons they're remaining silent right now. They don't want to say that they disapprove, because if they say that, we're probably going to start World War III. And who wants to deal with World War III? Am I right, guys? Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care. I hope you have an awesome, awesome day. Uh, and don't forget to hit that like button. Put some suggestions down below. I know some people get frustrated that we're not elite in this game. Um, but we've taken over most of the world. We're now at war with Iran. I like to think we're doing pretty good for, for kind of a noob, um, to be honest with you. 
So I hope that's the case. I hope you guys agree. Maybe not, but that's all right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care and have an awesome, awesome day.